Ever gazed at the stars and wondered about the mysteries of space? Hold on tight because today we're opening the vault of cosmic secrets. Get ready to have your mind blown as we debunk 13 space myths that have been floating around for ages. From mind-bending misconceptions to jaw-dropping discoveries, we're about to separate fact from fiction and unveil the truth about our universe. So if you've ever been told that you can hear sounds in space, or that all stars are the same, prepare for a reality check that'll leave you starstruck. Before we embark on our journey, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for an interstellar exploration of the most captivating space mysteries. Get ready for an eye-opening journey through the universe's most intriguing misconceptions and the mind-blowing realities that await. Number one, the sun is yellow. If you always thought the sun was a big yellow fireball, that's not quite right. It's more green than yellow, actually. Scientists figure out how hot a star is by looking at the colors it shines. Different colors mean different temperatures. And cooler stars look red, while the hottest ones are blue. The sun mostly emits energy that's close to the color green. But since it also gives off other color, they all mix together and appear white to our eyes. That happens when you're looking from a place like the International Space Station. From Earth, the atmosphere scatters away the blue light, so the other colors seem yellow. If the sun was truly yellow, it would be about 800 degrees Celsius, 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, cooler. With that, our solar system's comfy zone for planets would be smaller, and Earth would turn into a freezing, lifeless place. Number two, the sun is on fire. You might have believed the sun is a blazing fire, but there's nothing exactly like it. Fires burn through a chemical reaction involving oxygen and fuel. And our sun is different. It's a massive ball of gas, mostly consisting of hydrogen and helium, with very little oxygen. Instead of burning like a fire, it acts like a giant nuclear reactor. Deep inside its core, the sun fuses hydrogen atoms to make helium. This reaction gives off huge energy, making the sun incredibly hot. Number three, space explosions happen in reality. Speaking of fiery stuff, let's talk about space explosions. To burst your bubble, they're not a thing. Spaceships can't go kaboom with a big blast in space. Why? Because space doesn't have air, and without it, there's no oxygen. And you know what? No oxygen means no fire explosions. So, sorry to the Star Wars fans out there. Number four, you cannot count stars. Ever looked at the night sky and thought, there are so many stars I can't even count? Well, guess what? You can totally do so. In fact, smart folks at Harvard already did it. According to the Yale Bright Star Catalog, there are 9,110 stars visible from Earth without any tools. Give it a shot. See if you can count them on your own. Number five, flying through an asteroid belt is possible. In many movies, you've probably seen the daring hero maneuvering through an asteroid belt with ease. However, real life in space doesn't quite work that way. The asteroid belt, positioned between Mars and Jupiter, is indeed filled with a multitude of space rocks. They range in size from minuscule dust particles to chunks as large as a quarter of the moon. Believe it or not, there are around 100,000 asteroids in the belt that exceed one kilometer, 0.6 miles, in size. But here's the fascinating part. They're not as close together as movies often depict. The asteroid belt itself spans an astonishing 225 million kilometers, 140 million miles, in width. To put that into perspective, it's roughly one and a half times the distance from Earth to the Sun. This significant gap means that spacecraft traveling through this region rarely encounter these asteroids. It's similar to searching for a needle in a cosmic haystack. Number six, humans can freeze to death instantly in space. Ever wondered what would happen if you got tossed out into space? Well, you wouldn't turn into an ice cube instantly. Freezing occurs through the exchange of heat. Yet, within the vacuum of space, this transfer unfolds at an exceptionally slow rate. Your body would freeze, but it'd actually take hours. But hold on, by that time, other things such as the lack of oxygen and the exposure to harmful radiation would have killed you long before. Number seven, you will explode in space. Here's a fun fact. You wouldn't go boom in space, but you'd puff up, kind of like a balloon. The nitrogen in your blood would form bubbles and make you double in size. 
But guess what? That's not the problem that'll get you. It's oxygen. In just 15 seconds out there, your brain wouldn't get the oxygen it needs from your blood, and you'd black out. Wait a bit longer, about two minutes, and your organs will call it quits, one by one. And that's the end of the game. Number eight, space is very cold. You might think space is super cold, but hold on, it's not really cold or hot. It's more like having no temperature at all. The temperature depends on how fast tiny particles move and how much energy they have. In space, there are no particles zipping around, so there's no temperature. Now it is not completely empty out there, but it's pretty close. Space does have particles and radiation that create warmth, especially near stars. But as you move away from stars, the molecules spread out and things get chilly. Some places, like dense gas clouds, can be as cold as minus 263 degrees Celsius, minus 440 degrees Fahrenheit. Number nine. Mercury is the hottest planet. Meet Mercury, our sun's closest neighbor. Even though you'd think it's the hottest, it's not. Still, it's pretty extreme. During the day, this planet sizzles at 430 degrees Celsius, 800 degrees Fahrenheit. While at night, it chills to minus 180 degrees Celsius, minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. But guess what? The true inferno in our solar system is Venus. Now, Mercury lacks an atmosphere to trap all that solar warmth. But Venus has a beefy atmosphere that acts like a supercharged greenhouse, kind of like really intense global warming. And this turns Venus into a scorching furnace with surface temps around 475 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 10. Our solar system doesn't move. Guess what? Our whole solar system isn't just hanging out in one place in our galaxy. Instead, it's zipping through space at 220 kilometers per second, miles per second. That's like seven times faster than how Earth goes around the sun. And get this, it takes a whopping 230 million years for our solar system to do one big circle around the Milky Way. The last time we were in this spot, Earth had one giant supercontinent, and the dinos were just beginning to explore. Number 11, planets orbit around the sun. Planets don't just loop around the sun, it's more like a cosmic balancing act. While the sun's super heavy, other planets join the gravitational dance. They don't orbit the sun directly. Instead, they all swirl around a central point in between them and the sun. This special spot is called the barycenter. Earth's barycenter is really close to the sun's core, so it's not too different for us. But check this out. For Jupiter, it's like 55,000 kilometers, 35,000 miles, away from the sun's center. That means the giant gas planet and the sun are sort of doing a space tango. They're both circling around each other. Number 12, the shape of the Earth is round. Look at Earth from space and you'd say it's round. But the truth is it's more like a bumpy egg shape, an ellipsoid. This bump happens around the equator because of how Earth spins. That spin makes it about 43 kilometers, 27 miles, wider than at the poles. Here's a cool thing. Because of this bump, gravity is a tad weaker at the equator. That's why it's easier to launch rockets from places close to the equator, like equatorial regions compared to launching from the poles. Number 13. No one can hear voice in space. You've heard the saying, in space no one can hear you scream. But that's partly true. Sound needs something to move through, like air or water. In space, things are so spread out that sounds vanish before they can travel far. So all those colossal events like supernovas and crashing black holes, they go silent pretty quickly. However, in some parts of space, there are lots of particles. Take the hot gas cloud around the black hole in the center of the Perseus galaxy cluster. There's so much gas that you can actually hear the black holes rumble. There you have it, intrepid space explorers. We've journeyed through the galaxy of myths and emerged with a universe of facts. Remember, the cosmos is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and it's up to us to keep seeking the truth. If these revelations left you hungry for more cosmic insights, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for mind-expanding content. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and your curiosity soaring.